all right so how's it going everybody hope you all doing well and today we're doing something different we're doing something that a lot of gamers used to do a long time ago today we're looking at a 400 dollars ps5 console killer gaming pc so remember christopher yee's video when he made a ps5 console killer for around 500 dollars this one could perform even as much as double the performance of that one for 100 dollars less and we're actually looking at benchmarks of this gpu that we're using you know at 1440p as you can see right now at cyberpunk 1440 p ultra settings we were getting a constant 30 fps red dead redemption 2 1440p ultra settings with fsr set to quality we are getting 60 fps and by the way these are settings that are higher than the console ps5 settings you know days gone at 1440p ultra settings we were getting also 60 frames per second so that's actually pretty decent and the last game which is the marvel spider-man remastered we were getting at 1440p very high settings we were getting 60 fps we we're actually averaging 75 so how did we do that we are doing that using second hand parts you can actually build a pc that would perform around the same for brand new parts but with 100 dollars more but this is not what we went with we went with used parts and it's pretty surprising what we're going with guys actually believe it or not we're looking at an hp z440 so this pc got an x99 ready platform which means you can add something like an i7 5960x or something similar to that in the pc so what we have here is a pc that's got uh, the case of course the motherboard and the cpu cooler and the power supply and believe it or not this is a 700 watt 80 plus power supply i don't want to exaggerate but i think it's a gold rated power supply so you can get all that from ebay for 110 dollars with free pc shipping now when it comes to the cpu we got two options and i'd leave that to you completely you can go with the cheaper xeon e5 1660 v3 which is a cpu that's not overclockable and 8 core 16 threaded cpu or you can go with an i7 5960x anyways both cpus are ranging from 40 to 60 dollars but the cpu that we're going with in this pc is an 8 core 16 threaded cpu 1660 v3 for around 35 dollars you are getting adequate performance this performance is kind of similar to something like a ryzen 5 3600 not quite as close as it would it bottleneck our gpu it can bottleneck our gpu to be honest at 1080p but once you dial up the settings to ultra settings once you go with like something like 1440p ray tracing if you're going in the video gpu it will make all the sense in the world 16 gigs is more than enough and uh, it will get the job done and ecc ram is usually a lot cheaper than the usual ram the non-ecc one and it's compatible with our system so why not utilize it and you got a ton of other ram slots in case you want and for the ssd we're looking at 512 gigabyte sayida ssd because i don't know if this has the nvme capabilities or not but hey 512 gigs for around 20 to 25 dollars is okay and it will get the job done for a budget system like that keep in mind that's 400 dollars and the gpu you kind of know what that is we are looking at the an amd rx 6600 you can get it from amazon refurbished or you can get it from ebay or you can even get it brand new and you'll not go over 450 dollars so great 1080p performance actually the ps5 performance is close to something like an rtx 2070 super and the rx 6600 is that close to that gpu in terms of performance so yeah you're getting around the same performance of the console so yeah that's been it guys if you like the video press on that like button if you want to see the actual video i mean i don't know maybe press on that like button and tell me and i'll see you in the next one peace